finish year 13, if they pass, they get what's called university entrance. They can go to university, to any university in New Zealand, if they pass the university entrance. Different universities, though, you must get different grades, yeah. higher grades or yeah. lower grades, depending on the degree you want to study. Yeah. So, for example, um, have you, do you know what a Bachelor of Science? Yeah. Does that make the same, yeah. call the same thing, BSc? Yep. So, a BSc, um, as well as getting university entrance, which is like the final qualification, for a BSc, you must have university entrance plus a little bit extra marks. To do Bachelor of Engineering, you must have university entrance plus higher marks. Okay. To do medicine, higher marks as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how old how old are you guys? What, 15. What, 15? 15. 15. When do you, when do you turn 16? Next year, 10th of Feb. Next year, 10th of Feb. So you, next year here, maybe, depending on your grades and whatever, maybe you would be year 12 here next year. And then year 13, it is, I mean in New Zealand, year 13 the year after, then university. And uh, at university, a Bachelor of Science degree is usually three years. Bachelor of Engineering is four years. That sort of thing. So, so what if I want to do my 12th and 13th year in suppose this college and want a university not in New Zealand but in America or maybe UK? Yep. Yep. So depending upon my grades, like absolutely like the credit score. I absolutely, can yeah. Mm -hmm. So the New Zealand system is very complicated, but it is rec it's what's called an internationally recognised qualification. So our qualification is called NCEA. You know, in England, some of their qualifications are called A-levels. Uh, there is another qualification called IB, you know, International Baccalaureate, all sorts of things. NCEA is the New Zealand one, and the New Zealand one is internationally known the same as all the others. Students each year that studied in... Last year we had one girl who got into Oxford University. You've heard of Oxford University? Yeah, yeah. She's uh, studying English. She's a writer. So she got into Oxford last year. We had another girl last year go to Mississippi University in America. That's a tier two university, very high university. It's based on their NCEA grades. So we don't need to give GMAT and SAT. Like for America, you need to give SAT, no? Yes, you still need to set the SATs, absolutely. Because of that also there are some cut off marks. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And you set the SATs. They, um, the way the SATs work in New Zealand is you have to enter the exam. They're usually on a Saturday and different schools, no schools teach the SATs, but the school can be what's called an exam centre. Yeah. So students who want to pay money. So when do I give my SAT? Then you, you, you choose. You okay. could you could you could choose to sit the SAT this Saturday if you want, um, and you pay and you can sit it many, many, many times. But I think, and this I must check on this. I think if you sit it too many times, it can look like your marks aren't good. You you might be better to wait and sit it to get the best mark you can. But you are allowed to sit it over again. I think. Okay. But I need to check. Play basketball and go to university there. Another one is a very good swimmer. Same thing, swimming. Um, and two others for business. One sat their first SAT maybe two weeks ago. Another one will do it in five or six weeks' time. So you ha you just um, pay your money. Might. I'm not sure how much it is, maybe $100 or something, and then they say, okay, you must be at this place at this time, and you go there and, and sit the exam. So, so now, after 10th, yeah. suppose I want to come here, not to college. So my 10th board marks, you will take into consideration? Yeah, so for any student coming to us from anywhere in the world, whether it's England, India, whatever, we need to get the report, the school report, and maybe... On the report it will have some grades like the subjects you yeah. take mm. and also maybe something from the school that says he's a good student he works here that sort of thing recommendation and then what we do is we have deans the, a dean 
is the person who is in charge of the whole year group. Yeah. The dean will meet with the student, or if it's overseas, talk on the phone and say, what subjects do you do at your school now in India? Mm. What do you do now? Okay. These are the subjects at our school. Which ones would you like to take? If you want to study biology, let's say, the dean will say, have you studied science before? Do you know, you know yeah. those? And they will also say, what do you want to study when you leave school? Mm. And if you say maybe engineering, then you must, in New Zealand, if you want to study engineering, you must take mathematics and physics. Yeah. Or engineering, same thing. So those are the conversations. Yeah. So, so in your team, do we have, in India, we have 12 standard boards. 12th boards, like the exam. So in New Zealand, how does it? Yeah, the New Zealand system is different. Yeah. So each subject in New Zealand, most year 13 students take five subjects. Hmm. Okay. Maybe if you want to do engineering, maybe maths, physics, chem, chem English, and Any other business or something else, whatever. So five subjects. Hmm. Every subject will have some exam at the end of the year, but also some exam in the year. We call it internal assessment. Mm -hmm. Okay, These two things go together to make your whole grade for that subject. So now university will consider my the year 13 marks also, which yes. I give the not good quality. Yep. And the internal assessment plus the end of yeah. the year. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, when does the year start? Good question. So the year starts uh, early, very early in February. Um, the school year. But in India we do not get our results before May. Yeah, for the so we'll, yeah, so what we would do is look at the previous May results. Nine standard. Yeah. So the percentage has gone down due to other some subjects. Uh, it's, uh, that's a good question. So, um, depending on the degree, yeah. if you want to do a Bachelor of Business Studies or, or a Bachelor of Commerce, yeah. is another one we call it, Bachelor of Commerce, they will have what's called a rank score and that is all of your marks in year 13 added up to get into there so if you have done very very well in your business economics subjects yeah. but you haven't done as well in some other subjects you need to see what the average is overall or what the total is yeah, yeah. NCEA is a complicated system but I, we probably need another talk at some stage if you want to understand exactly how NCEA works but um, basically how well you do in year 13 depends on you know determines how you get into so year 13 is the, the, the you need to do well in year 13 mm -hmm. yeah the first lot of national assessments in New Zealand national assessments means across the whole country yeah. the first time that happens is year 11 so in year 11, when students finish ele year 11, if they pass their subjects, they get what's called NCEA Level 1. Mm -hmm. Then they go to year 12. If they pass their subject in year 12, they get NCEA Level 2. There are some places that are not universities, but maybe uh, like an apprenticeship or other courses, not universities, but other courses, yeah. NCA level 2, you can go straight into those places. Mm -hmm. Then year 13, you get NCEA level 3 and, and a thing called university entrance, then you may go to university. Mm -hmm. So which is the best university in New Zealand? For an engineer? Uh, the University of Auckland. Yeah. So that's the best? Yeah. Well, the University of Auckland is the university that has the highest international ranking. Oh. Okay, so all the universities around the whole world are ranked from number one, which I think some years it's Oxford, some years it's MIT, MIT depends yeah. that order. Um, New Zealand has about four or five universities that are ranked very highly. The highest ranked New Zealand university is the University of Auckland. And for suppose if designing and business, what are the subjects what required? So, what sort of designing 
design, product designing. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. So, so sorry. What's the question with that? Which which mm -hmm. university do you I mean? should be good in which subjects for these two things? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so we uh, probably business studies. Yeah. In New Zealand, at our school, we call it business studies. Also economics. Yeah. Um, and then perhaps also maybe some things like web design and that sort of stuff also could be useful. Some like uh, web design. Web design, web design. like internet. Web page design, that sort of stuff, marketing. If you go to our school website, you can find the course directory at our school. So you can read a little bit about each subject. Yeah. So year 12 business studies, year 13 business studies, if that's what you're interested in. Yeah. And this will help. This will be similar to other schools in New Zealand. So this will help you see what's, what's in the different courses. So, suppose I want to do civil engineering now, but later on I think that I should do mechanical engineering is for sure. Then I later I think that I shouldn't do mechanical engineering. So, will those maths and physics are for sure? Yep. Maths, physics, and chem, please. So, what other two subjects can be like we can? Doesn't doesn't matter. So, when you do engineering at the university, what they call stage one, it's the first year at university. You must do all the different bits of it. Hmm. Then after you have done stage one, then you might go mechanical. So oh, particular yeah. 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 So at school, it doesn't specialise that much. For engineering, what you must do, what is compulsory, is physics and calculus. They're the only two things. Physics, calculus is compulsory. Chemistry is not important. No. I think it would be he said chemistry. If so you're thinking chemistry, no, no. Chemistry, I think no. I think it would be I think it would be helpful, but it isn't compulsory. At the year twelve, you usually do six subjects. Six, like six out of these, or from these six. How do you select those six subjects? Ah, yeah. So this is like a overall courses, but these are all the subjects here. So say in year thirteen, I need to have five subjects, right? In year. So for maths and physics are for sure, maths, physics and English. English, English. also you told that it's compulsory or... In New Zealand, yeah. in New Zealand schools, maths um, and English are the only compulsory subjects yeah. to year 11, only maths and English. Oh. Uh, but most students will take science as well for year 11. Hmm. Yeah. So then now two subjects are there, so can I take business studies also? In that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can take any two subjects out of the all the yeah. subjects provided? Yeah, yeah. You, any five. Yeah. If you're year 13, you choose any five. Oh. But you must meet... Do you know what the word prerequisite means? So if you, if you want to study year 13 physics, you must have studied year 12 physics yeah. and passed it. Yeah. So you can take any five subjects you yeah. like, but you must have already yeah. studied the yeah. year before. You can't yeah. but is, do you have a question like, for example, for doing year 12 physics is there anything that he should have done in year 11 because he's not coming to your year 11 oh, Would that yeah, affect good, him? good question no for an international student so this is the science example of all of so science is science is the faculty hmm. okay and in year nine all students must take science hmm. it's compulsory and science means they do a little bit of biology, a little bit of chemistry, a little physics, bit of physics. physics. Same as year 10. Year 11, they can choose to do science or internal science. What is internal it means Bible? it's No, it means it's actually more of an easier science. Oh. This is the more academic science that leads to this pathway, year 11, year 12, year 13, hmm. leads to the three different ones. This pathway still is like a general science. It's mm -hmm. a course which has little bits of everything. Mm -hmm. So if you want to take physics in year 13, mm -hmm. you must take physics in year 12. And science you in must year take 11. science in year 11 as all. Well. Contact NZEA today to study in New Zealand. Info at nzea.in